Hello everybody, Flash Notion here, back for another reaction to My Hero Academia. This time we're on Season 6, Episode 12. And if I remember right, we last left off with Dobby airing out all of Endeavor's dirty little secrets. And then Best Genus showing up to save the day. Yay! <laughs> I, uh, yeah, uh, that reveal definitely would have been better if they hadn't, you know, told us that Genus was alive at the start of the episode. Um, other than that, uh, some stuff was going down with Toga and uh, Ochako. Um, don't really... Don't really think that's heading anywhere good. Um, otherwise, I mean, yeah, Deku got both of his arms broken again. Um, both Endeavor and Bakugo got stabbed. Uh, Todoroki, I think, is the only one of the main group there left fighting. So, yeah. Shit's a little fucked right now. And Gigantomachia is still not out. Um, so, there is that as well. <coughs> oh, goodness. Should, should have cleared my throat and whatnot a little bit more before starting. Um, so, yeah. Uh, as for where this goes, I mean... I, I don't know. I mean, Genus is here. Hopefully he doesn't die for real this time. That'd be kind of hilarious, actually. <laughs> I'd kind of have respect for the show if it did that. Um, so it's just like, yay, Genus is alive! Oh, never mind, he's actually dead. God damn it. <laughs> like, that'd be great. Alright, alright. Um... But yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, so let's let's just find out. Uh, switch over, and we begin in three, two, one, and play. All right, so that was a uh, very odd episode. Um, like, it opened oddly, and it ended kind of oddly. It was very odd in the middle, too. Um, but in a good way, I'd say, at least for the middle part. Um, so, yeah, uh, we, uh, hmm. I mean, okay. What all happened? So, Best Genus arrived on scene and took down Makia, basically. Tied up all the others. Uh, Sheet Rocky's waking up. All the Nomu are converging on that location. Um, and none of them seem to have been, like, truly defeated yet. Even though a lot, apparently a lot of heroes are just out of the fight now. Um... <laughs> Deku, I mean, he's innovating. Um, not really uh, doing a lot yet, but he's he's trying. I feel like he's just about reaching the end of his rope. He's he's uh he's getting desperate, kind of like the end of uh, the the camping arc there when they lost Bakugo, um, which doesn't bode well. <laughs> Um, this, yeah, come to think of it, like, I don't think Deku has ever been, like, at the end of his rope and actually pulled out a full victory. Like, the only time I can really think of that he might have done something like that is the, the, the Yakuza raid, because he did beat Overhaul, but, like, he only managed that with Ares help. Um, and she is nowhere near the battlefield right now, <laughs> which is good. Um, I, I, I was kind of scared that she would show up somehow, and like, 
that's why Mirio was able to get his powers back, but... No, no, okay, um... But yeah, I, I kind of got distracted there for a second. Alright, so yeah, uh, Mirio's back, got his powers back, um... But he's, like, out of practice, and... Bakugo unveiled his new name, which I actually already knew that name, I'd seen it before... Um, dynamite is, you know, fitting. I, I also know it's spelled with, like, like, like the Romanized version of it is spelled with a Y and not an I. I, is, I, I don't know. I don't actually know how to spell dynamite. I don't think. Like, I, I don't remember ever, uh, ever really coming across, across that word in any time I've ever needed to, like, actually know how to spell it. Um. Like, whatever. Uh, yeah, so, Murder God Dynamite, <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, I'm not calling him the full thing, like, ever. But, yeah, fits for Bakugo. It's similar to uh, what he had before, but now, like, there's an actual... What the hell? Like a... Must have had something. Must have been in my teeth. Um, yeah, so Bakugo, uh, now has an actual hero name. That's pretty cool. Um, and then the drugs kicked in, so Gigantamachia is out. Probably. But fucking Dobby is just... I mean, he's going plus ultra, technically. But, like, holy shit. Like... Yeah, I, I I very much prefer Stoic Dobby rather than him just going all fucking nutsoid here. Like this is just obnoxious. <laughs> um so yeah, I'm kinda hoping it's like a permanent takedown for him at this point, cause like Yeah. I I don't I don't want him to stick around. He's done his part. He's he's played his role. And, frankly, him dying in this scenario would actually kind of make what he says a little bit stronger, a little bit more tragic. Um, so, yeah, let's let's just shoo him out. Get rid of him. Uh, I, I don't know if they will, but I, I, I kind of want him to go. <laughs> like, I don't see a reason to keep him around right now. But then again, I don't know everything that... Uh, Horikoshi has plans, so... Hmm, there's that. Um... Anything else? Alright, let's let's circle back around to that idea that I was having, like... If we look at the times when Deku has been truly pushed up to his limit... Um... Like, he didn't really do much in the USJ arc, but, like... He was kind of at his limit at that time because he ended up with a uh, broken hand and two broken legs. So, like, yeah, he, he was basically at his limit at the time. And, you know, I mean, he he, he accomplished something. He, he, he kept uh, Shigaraki off from, off, off, off from uh, All Might for just a second. Um... But that was about it. And then, like, in the sports festival against Todoroki, like, he got blown out of the ring. He was pushed... He pushed himself right up to the limit there. He had so many broken bones. Um, yeah. Whereas, like, uh, the final exam at the end of that season, you know, he uh, worked with uh, Bakugo and... They managed to get out. Um, and then... Uh, season 3, obviously, you know, he managed to beat Muscular, but he pushed himself to his limit and couldn't save Bakugo. So... That didn't work out. And then he didn't really push himself during the rescue. He didn't really push himself during the uh, licensing arc all that much. Um... And season four, he didn't have to put... Well, I mean, he was pushing himself, but, like, there was no limit to go up against because of Aerie. So, like, 
Yeah, he never broke anything, technically. <laughs> um, but also, uh, like later on in with the fight against uh, against fuck me, why am I blanking out? Uh, uh, gentle criminal. There we go. It, with the fight against Gentle, like, ba uh, Deku went as far as he could without breaking his limbs. <laughs> um, so up to, you know, his, his limit, his reasonable limit at that time, and he wasn't actually able to beat Gentle. So, like, yeah, it, it, it's just kind of a recurring thing. Like, Season 5 didn't really have anything with Deku and Limits, either. But, I don't know, it just, it seems like a thing, especially in, like, these even-numbered seasons, where, like, Deku encounters... I said even, right? Uh, yeah, no, okay, never mind. I, I don't know what I'm saying. It, it, it's just that, like, Deku... He doesn't smash through Limits or anything like that, you know? He's not, he's not Goku. When Goku is put up against a limit, and he's fighting a villain who's just plain stronger than him, and he's beaten up, and he can't, you know, take anymore, he just does it anyways. He unlocks a new form, or, a, you know, he uses a new technique, or something like that, and just, all of a sudden, he's able to beat the bad guy. Um, there has I mean, the only time I can think of in Dragon Ball that I know of where that hasn't happened and hasn't worked... Um, at least the most recent one in Dragon Ball that I can think of was all the way back in the Saiyan Saga against Vegeta. Where, you know, Vegeta technically still won the fight against Goku. It was the interference from Yajirobe and Krillin and uh, Gohan that actually caused him to lose in the end. Um, but, like... Every time since then, you know, against Frieza, against the Ginyus, against uh, Cell, technically, <laughs> um, against uh, Majin Buu, everything in Super, like, Goku just keeps pulling out ahead. That's, that's become Goku's thing. Whereas Deku, he doesn't get that. He doesn't get an opportunity to... Uh, evolve in that manner. Um, I think the best way to look at it is like going back to season two uh, with the sports festival arc and uh, Aizawa being like, yeah, Deku's not getting better during these fights. He's just using what he has available to him in that moment and pushing himself right up against the wall like that. Um, you know... Like, in theory, it'd be cool if Deku could break through a wall. But he doesn't seem to be able to do that very often. Um, it, it, like, I mean, it, you know, metaphorically, I mean, literally he smashes through walls quite a bit. But um, just metaphorically... Uh, Deku tends not to be able to win when he pushes himself to the limit like this. When he comes up against a limit, I should say. Like, yeah, I'm trying to think of an example where it's like Deku pushes himself to the limit and then he actually, you know, saves the day at the end of it. And it's just like, pretty much every example I can think of, I, I mean, I guess the second movie is a time when he did that. But he also had Bakugo's help there. Um, you know, in the third movie, it was... Uh, a Rhodey? I want to say Rhodey? Uh, his new friend that managed to save the day. Um, rather than Deku himself. Uh, and, you know, in the first movie, he had All Might's help, and... Just every other time when Deku has come up against his limit, it just hasn't been enough. His limit stops him. It doesn't. Act, it, it it 
it is an actual limit. It's not it's not something that, that can be just overcome in the moment, right? Which is uh, actually pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I, we're seeing him reach that in this episode a little bit. And, you know, it, it makes me think that there is going to come a point within like the next couple episodes where Deku is just... Either something is going to happen where Deku recovers somehow... Or he actually is just going to flat out collapse and not be able to go on. Um, not really sure which one. Not really sure which one would be cooler, actually, in the context. Um, yeah. So Endeavor is also out of the fight, it seems, at this point. Um, though he was also, like, moved by what uh, Deku said. So it's like... That's pretty cool. Um, and then, uh, yeah. All, all the other students are currently taking on the Nomu, so they're doing pretty well. Uh, I, I'm guessing a lot of the other heroes and students are going to be coming to that location. And then, uh, yeah, the villains. They're not doing anything right now, actually. Yeah, so Toga's missing. She looked, she looked like she was just running away crying. I, I don't know what to think with that. Like, I am expecting her to make her way to the, the big battlefield and do something awful. <laughs> but I, I don't know what she's actually going to do. Um, meanwhile, Shigaraki's waking up, but he's not currently doing anything. Um, Spinner and Compress... Uh, I don't think they're gonna die, but, like, yeah. I don't know. They're, they're, they are the two weakest members of the, of the original League, so, like, I, ca I guess it would be kind of fitting if they were to disappear right here, but, I mean, at the same time, like, Spinner is the one that has the most thematic, uh, like, he, he's the one that matters the most. Which is why it always kind of... It, it, it really does suck that they skipped his his big stuff in the manga of, like, going up against the anti-quirk KKK group or whatever they were. Um, and then, like, Compress. I mean... I, I, I don't know what they're doing with Compress. Like, he just seems kind of useless right now. I mean, I guess he did take out Midnight, so there's that. But, eh. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, just kind of a weird episode overall. Not, like, like a lot happened. We got Mirio back. We actually had the flashback to explain how we got Mirio back. We had a lot of action that was really cool. Um, now, some new stuff with Bakugo. That's Gina's being cool. Like, every, there's a lot that happened in this episode. Some really awesome animation bits, too, I feel like. I mean, I'm not an animation expert, but there was some stuff in here that I thought looked really fucking cool. Like, way cooler than normal. Um, and I think part of that also comes from getting Mirio back because his fighting style is very different from most other people's. Um, but... Yeah, it's so much happening in this episode, and yet... Technically, very little happened. Like, because we spent a lot of time at the start of this episode just doing recap stuff. And, you know, there was a lot of just, like, very dramatic, like, oh my god, things are happening! We need to, like, cut back and forth between all of these characters and show their reactions. Like, there was a lot of that in this episode. <laughs> so much of that in this episode. Um, so, like, it took a lot to get through any given moment. Um, it just... It, it's so weird. It's so weird to think about that. Because, like, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know where this episode ranks, because, like... Again, a bunch of stuff happened. There was some cool animation, and just some really cool things happening, but it doesn't feel like a lot happened at the end. Like... If you think about it, Mirio's back. He's helping defend off the Nomu that are attacking. 
And that's kind of it. Like, like when it comes down to it, that that's it. We kind of ended in the same place as we started. Um, I guess Todoroki taking on Dobby right now. That's the other thing that's happening. But otherwise, the League members are still tied up by Best Genist. Uh, Makia, still tied up by Best Genist. Deku, still not doing shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's... That's about it. Like, not, not much changed between how this episode started and how it ended, I feel like. Oh no, now I got hiccups. I don't know. So maybe next episode, like, the small differences will become more apparent and more relevant. But for right now, I, I just I, I kind of come away from this episode feeling a little bit disappointed, which is kind of weird. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, all right. Yeah, I've been rambling long enough. So uh, thank you all for watching. That's going to be it for this time. And until next time, which should hopefully be tomorrow, that will be all. Bye-bye. Uh,